Taurus, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here's your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, May 21st to Sunday, May 27th, 2018. Now, before I get started, I just wanted to let you all know I will be having my webinar for the month of June 2018 very soon on Monday, May 28th at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. In that webinar, I'm going to talk about why this month, June 2018, is one of the most fated and karmic months of the year. A big reason for that is because we do have Mars this month in a conjunction with the South Node, which it does not do that often, especially not while it's in shadow period, about to go retrograde. And what this is going to bring up are a lot of things from the past that need to be dealt with and transformed, brought into new chapters. While Mars is on the South Node, we also do have venus conjunct the north node opposite mars <laughs> also a rare unique combination uh, bringing love money and all the things that we value here to the forefront to meet a destined change perhaps based on some of these things that we have planted or seeded in the past okay so that's what's going on there on top of that we've also got five planets that's a lot of planets retrograde this month two of which neptune and mars will go retrograde during the actual month of june now if you're interested in learning about what all this means for you you <laughs> how to make sense of it all and what some of the important dates are of this month that you need to be aware of you can find all that information in my webinar at the link down below in my description box okay i just wanted to let you all know to hold on tight for this month because it's gonna bring some unexpected change especially with uranus still acting up in love and in money that may also require you to adapt and to adjust your perspective to meet some of these changes as fate and destiny step in here to realign us on our proper course that we perhaps were always meant to go on but maybe lost our way on there for a little bit all right so that's what i've got there again interested the link is down below in my description box now, Taurus, for your horoscope. What we've got, I'm going to start here, Jupiter in a trine with Neptune. Okay, these planets have been kind of close for a while. <laughs> They're both slow-moving planets. Jupiter's coming retrograde here, meeting with Neptune, but it's going to come exact this week. And I think as a result of that is going to color most of the week and kind of give it like the undertones that we may be feeling. Now that for you, Taurus, is going to have to do a lot here where Jupiter is in your seventh house of partnerships and of relationships, usually of the one-on-one -on -one variety and of contracts, if you're signing any contracts. And Neptune here and Pisces is going to be in your 11th house of your goals, your dreams, and your hopes for the future. Okay, maybe what's been going on lately, maybe with Neptune here in your 11th, maybe it's been hard for you to see a future for yourself. It's been hard for you to figure out, oh, where is my life going? Uh, what am I doing here? And maybe also there's been some confusion about where you fit in, what groups of people you fit in with in some way. Uh, maybe as well, it's been hard for your relationships because you don't know where your future's going. It's hard for your relationships to fit into your future to fit into some of your goals and dreams. Maybe you've been trying to figure out how people play a part in where it is you see your life going or how you can connect with people one-on-one -on -one out of a large group, okay? And I think if that's been hard for you the past, this alignment is going to help you start to make sense of those things, for you to start to feel like, okay, I'm getting an idea of where I want my life to go and now I'm seeing how people are playing a part in it and it's all starting to come together, okay? So I do like this alignment. I think underneath the surface, helping you feel like relationships are starting to be on your side you're starting to get more clarity about where life is going next and are moving there with the support of others uh, while that's happening uh, we also do have venus right here in cancer which for you is in your third house of talk and communication all right so as you're starting to hopefully feel much better about where your life is going and who you're going with <laughs> and how other people are working with you i think there's lots of conversations going on lots of talking lots of thinking i think you're trying to get comfortable here i think that's why you're doing the talking and thinking because you're trying to get comfortable with everything that's occurred now with your relationships and with your life all right um, so that's what's going on. There could be some uncomfortable feelings or things that could come up on Monday, however. That's because Venus, while it's in Cancer, is going to square Chiron. Chiron being in your 12th house of your insides. Spirituality and of the past. So I think you're starting to work better with relationships to reach hopefully a common or a shared goal of some sort. But maybe the communication is difficult because you have to um, speak 
things that are going on inside you. Maybe that's the hard part. Maybe as well there could be something about your mind. You're stuck in an old way of doing things with your relationships, an old vision of your life uh, that's coming in. And maybe that's a little bit hard early on this week. How do you think and communicate about your life differently now that things have changed in a way that really resonates with you, okay? I think the message of the astrology is to not focus so much on what's going on inside you. You may feel a little bit uncomfortable. There may be some things from the past still lingering, especially with some Mars South Node stuff going on. But I think the goal is to not focus on so much of what's happening inside you and to just speak about what's happening and to hopefully with Venus here in Cancer to speak in a more caring way and to speak about home and family to get that in order. All right, even if it's uncomfortable for you, even if you have to sacrifice some of your own comfort here to communicate better with others, better about home and family, I think that's kind of what needs to go on here. Really needing to figure out how to communicate now with your relationships, with some other people that you're committed to in your life about where it is that you're going, even if it's taking you out of your comfort zone because you have to, to communicate or say things in different ways that maybe you, you didn't have to do, <laughs> didn't have to talk about previously, okay? Um, so that's what I see happening there. Um, what's while that's happening we also do have the sun here in gemini in your second house of money of your confidence of your gifts and skills and talents so while you're communicating about some things the relationships where you see your life going even if it's uncomfortable for you even if you're having to sacrifice some of your own desires I think you're also trying to figure out money matters. Okay, how can I feel better about money? What are my gifts and skills and talents um, to move forward on? To feel more stable and secure in life. With the sun in Gemini in a trine with Mars here in Aquarius and with Aquarius in your 10th house of your career, your reputation and your social standing, I think you're trying to figure out here how you can feel more stable in life Use your money, use your resources, use your talents to put your life in the right direction. Maybe you're also trying to figure out how you can have a career that brings in more money, that uses more of your talents, or how you can just feel better financially all around. <laughs> feel like you're putting your life in a better place that can support some of your monetary needs um, that are happening. And I think that's what you're trying to figure out. I don't think that you're going to have all of the answers yet to what's going on financially, to how you can feel more stable in life, putting your life in a direction that you like better. Um, especially because Mars is going retrograde here in your 10th house or it's going in its shadow period about to go retrograde. I think there are a few things you may have to work out in regards to your career, to your reputation, to where it is you see your life going and how you get your money involved on board with all of that and your talents. But I think you getting the wheels turning this week to think about those things is helping you here where Chiron is to feel much better and to find more of that peace inside later, even if it's not there right now with both Mars and the Sun here in a sextile to Chiron. All right, so that's the beginning of the week. Then at the end of the week, as we get to Wednesday, Thursday on, Mercury begins to take more focus. All right, with Mercury here in Taurus in your first house and an opposition here with Jupiter in your seventh. And I think what that could bring on Wednesday are a lot of conversations maybe with relationships with the other people in your life, uh, with some people that you feel committed to or have signed a contract with that could come in. And I think you're trying to balance some of your own needs with the needs of your relationships uh, to figure out how you can uh, maybe change your relationships or work with your relationships in a way that makes you feel more comfortable on Wednesday and Thursday. If you can communicate about your own needs, about what you need and balance that with the needs of some of the other people in your life, I think it will help you with Mercury in a sextile with Neptune to start to see the future more clearly and to start to feel like you're making moves to socialize more with the people that you want to be with um, and to feel like you're putting your life in a direction that just inspires you more. All right. Um, and communication being important, especially with the other people in your life, to make sure that they are on board with you, and especially with Venus here in Cancer, communicating perhaps in a more loving way that takes people's feelings into consideration being important. All right, so that's there. Then on Friday, Mercury moves further through Taurus, and it comes into a trine here with Pluto, and Pluto is in your ninth house of something new and different that you have not done before. So maybe there is some kind of new way of thinking, new perspective that it is that you need to adopt on yourself, on you, on who it is that you are. Maybe you're taking on a new identity in some way. 
um, as you move forward. And I think that's what you start to come into towards Friday and Saturday, maybe after having some conversations with the people in your life, is what do you need to do that's new or different? Or how you can be someone that's new or that's different or to have a new perspective on who it is that you are to accommodate some of the things that have gone on in your life lately in regards to relationships and maybe even some things with money, okay? Um, so that's what comes in. Then we end the week on Saturday with Venus here in your third and in opposition with Saturn in your ninth of something new. And I think what could come in at the weekend here um, is maybe there's something new that you want to do. As I mentioned, you're kind of uh, thinking of yourself in a new and different way or perhaps changing your life so that you can do something new, be more excited about your life. And I definitely am seeing lots going on with communication this week for you, Taurus. I'm talking to people, uh, thinking about your life and about what's going on. And I think the challenge that comes in on Saturday is how to communicate about your beliefs, about some new or exciting thing that you're doing that's important to you, that you feel like can put your life in a direction that you like better. Okay, maybe you're feeling like with Saturn here in your ninth, it's hard for you to do something new. You really want to find more excitement in your life, but you can't. All right, feeling restricted in some way. And I think what you need to figure out is how to put the things that you want, that you believe, that you want, that's exciting, how to put that into words and how to integrate that more into your life so that you can really begin to launch forward doing something new that you want, but in a way that you understand that feels more familiar or more comfortable for you and in the way that other people in your life understand as well so that you can move forward and all of that. Okay, so that's what I see going on here, um, Taurus, working, I think maybe there's something right new that you're doing, trying to get comfortable, more familiar with something new that you're doing, see yourself in different ways, and maybe just having to adjust your perspective so that you can get on board with this new person that you're becoming, and adjust and work with other people, communicate with other people as well about this change in your life too so that other people can help you reach some big goals and dreams of yours and that you can feel more comfortable bringing everything together. All right, so that's what I see there, Taurus. Your card is the Queen of Wands, upright. This card, you know, the Queen of Wands, um, I see this as kind of like a Leo card for some reason. The Queen of Wands is a very passionate. She's got a lot of things that excite her that she loves to do. So I think this card is all about, especially with the ninth house stuff going on, getting excited about your life, finding more of your passion, letting more of your heart show. Maybe people need to see your heart. What it is you really feel? What's really going on inside you? Maybe if there's any problems communicating, maybe it's because people don't understand like what makes you happy. Maybe if you just showed people a little bit more of like the more human, human side, the more emotional side of you, maybe that would help as well come in here with this, especially because the queen, you know, queens I always think is a little bit more internal, a little more caring and nurturing with the other people around them. So maybe you also need to spend some time not just showing other people your heart, showing people what's inside you, bringing that outward, but maybe nurturing other people along in the process, making sure other people are doing the exciting things with you. It's not just, hey, I'm gonna do this exciting thing and I'm gonna leave you behind, especially with Jupiter here in your seventh. It's, hey, I'm doing this exciting thing. Let me tell you why I'm doing this. Do you want to come along with me and, and bringing people along on the journey? And I think if you can work with other people here, you can actually find more success doing the things that you enjoy and moving forward. All right. I like it. Um, so that's what I've got for you this week, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching my horoscope. If you like it, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.